Yeah, here with Derek Rose, uh, point guard for the Bulls. Obviously, uh, so many questions, so many people are eager to see your game now yeah. after after a little bit of hunger among, yeah. among the fan base. Um, you know, what do you know about your body and your health now that you can share with people that they might not know? Um, I'm fine. <laughs> I know I'm going to get the question all the time, but um, I'm, I'm used to it. Um, I know I'm not worried about anything, so um, I can't. I can sit here and say they shouldn't worry about anything. But what happened in the past, uh, of course, is always that, that question is always going to be on their mind. So I'm um, used to it. I'm healthy, and then I'm just trying to move forward. What do you feel you achieved with the Team USA experience? I know some people look, they say, well, the stats don't reflect the way you played or the way you felt. I, I felt great. Um, the way that I played, just moving up the court, moving around the court, actually loose, um, picking up full court. Um, really pressuring the guards. Um, I think I played well. Of course, um, missing shots and um, turnovers is part of the game, so uh, I'm not worried about that part. Um, every day that I was over there, I was just trying to do anything that that led me in the right direction, and that that was from all on the floor and off the floor with um, making sure I shot out the practice, making sure that I stretched before I got on the floor, and off the court, making sure that I ate right, making sure I recovered the right way. Any any moments when you're out there where you actually are fearful or think about the injuries? Is, or is that out of your mind? No, that's over. I think that was probably the first time when I came back, but this time I think it's over. In terms of a change in your game, some yeah. people might think maybe he needs to play a little bit differently to not expose himself to those types of injuries. Are we going to see any changes? I think a smarter player. Um, I think just trying to make the game as simple as possible. Um, if I have an open shot, shoot. Um, if I have a pull-up, shoot. Shoot a lot more floaters so that people won't um, touch my body like they did in the past throughout the entire game because that really um, hurts you, I think, as an athlete. And um, you, you need your years, I think. <laughs> <laughs> with the breakthrough, breakthrough season that Joe Keem had last year, yeah. I remember speaking with him and saying, it looks like you're adding things that will be helpful when Derek is back to play alongside. Yeah. What do you see in him, and how will he maybe make your job a little easier Just now? Just playmaking, you know. Um, with guys, um, when I usually don't have the ball, um, guys tend to hug me and making sure that I don't get the ball. So with his pass making, like backdoor plays, a lot of plays where you saw with him and DJ last year, handoff plays to mm -hmm. jump shots. And um, I think it's just going to bring a, a different dynamic to this team because I never played with a big like that mm -hmm. or I never played with two bigs like Powell and Joe before that could really pass the ball and make the game simple for everyone. So it should be a, a different view of this team next year. I mean, this this in a couple of weeks. So Anything else that jumps out at you when you look at the roster and the way it's configured, the changes that Garn and John Paxson have made? I think shooting. I think we got good shooters. Of course, you know Doug is a great shooter, but I think people are um, sleeping on t um, sl um, Tony Snell. I think he could really shoot the ball. For as little as you've been around for this team in terms of competing on the floor, the goal still seems to be the same. You've got to get past LeBron James. Oh, yeah, for sure. What do you make of the changes in the East and, and you know Cleveland now being back into the mix? You know, in the East, it's, it's definitely a change, but if anything, it's more challenging because we have a lot more uh, more talent than we did in the past. And uh, with Cleveland, you know, it's the same. we got to approach that game like we do um, every game, even though they have other players and great players on their team. Uh, we know that the game is going to be exciting, and uh, we just hope the fans appreciate the game and take it in because both teams are really going to go out there and try to win that game. Last thing, a few years ago, you asked the question of yourself, why can't I be MVP? Yeah. Do you have any question like that you want to pose to yourself this year? <laughs> I wouldn't say that right now, but I do have some goals, but I think I want to check them off in my own head and make sure everything's fine. Well, share with us when you can. All right, bet. I will. <laughs> Thank you, Derek. <laughs> All right.